guys, what's up? It's Hex, and I'm standing in front of my brand new Italianate style small house. Uh, this is a very small house, and it's in the Italianate style. Uh, this is kind of kicking off a, a series that I wanted to do for a really long time about some different architectural styles. And so I'm really excited about it. It's going to be the first video. Uh, let's go ahead and take a tour of this little house. So first of all, the Italianate style is... Um, signified by a couple of things. The first thing is uh, the low sloping roofs. So as you can see here, the roofs don't slope up very much. They have a very low slope to them. Um, and then the other thing that sets them off is these very large overhangs. Um, they have a special name. I can't remember the name, but it doesn't matter. Um, also, they have these uh, very kind of large, I think these are called cornices right here, uh, or, or supports, or maybe this is the cornice and that's the support for the cornice. Anyway, um, and then they have uh, also these little things, which is called a cupola or a cupola, cupola something like that, at the top of it. It's kind of like a little gazebo-looking thing at the top. And some Italianate-style houses have like a tower with this on the top of it, and some of them have just one that's sort of in the middle of the top of the roof like that. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and check out a couple other features. Um, another feature is these big, tall, narrow windows um, on real... Uh, Italian eight style houses, they would have a nice molding at the top of the window. Um, usually the ones that I've seen uh, pictures of have like a curved molding. That is really hard to do with a one wide window. So I'm just putting these little signs right there. And I broke them off earlier just to see if it would look okay. But it doesn't. And then um, it's kind of a little tour of the back. I got a little gazebo out here and some flowers and stuff. I don't know if the grounds and stuff I'm going to do as a tutorial, but I'm definitely going to do the exterior. I might do the interior as well. We'll see how long the video goes. Let's take a tour of the inside. Inside, we don't have a whole lot. It's a very small house. We've got a little bit of a kitchen, uh, some little shulker box cupboards. Um, yeah, pretty small. little fireplace right here and a end rod for some light. And then up here, we have an incredibly small bathroom with sink and toilet, and that's it. And then we have a little bedroom right here with a nice little pink bed, lamp, a couple of other little things. Uh, and that's pretty much the entire house. So, um, yeah. So it's pretty small, but I'm going to be building a couple of larger ones in the future. I just kind of wanted to start it off with something nice and small. So here we go. All right. You're going to go ahead and start this thing off with a foundation that is 9 by 9 and it's made of stone. So I'm going to go one. Let's see, so one, two, three, four, and five right there. I'm just going to make it right next door, okay? Uh, do I want to do that? Yeah. Do I want to do that? Nope, I'm going to build it a little further away. Right here. Okay, right here. This is good. So nine by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. You could use another block to if you wanted to. I think that ended up being ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it sure did. You could use another block if you wanted to, like cobblestone or something else. Maybe um, polished andesite might be nice, something like that. But I just used stone on the example. All right, cool. So next, you're going to put a block. Then you're going to go ahead and take out your color, your wall color block. Um, I'm going to make this uh, the tutorial yellow, but that one is of course light blue. So we're going to go uh, your color block, color block, color block, color block, and then a white one there. Okay. And then we're going to do the, actually the same thing all the way around. And then when we build the interior, I'm going to show you how to um, kind of delete some of the windows as we go. So I think it's better to build the windows in and then take them out as you go rather than, uh, yes, yeah, so we're just going to make a square like this. Okay. Very cool. And then right here, actually, I'm going to take that one out because that's where our door is going to go. And then we're going to replace those two blocks with, I think on the other one, I did, in fact, use some polished andesite for sort of a threshold. Okay. Just like that. Next, we're going to extend each one of these up to three blocks. So one, two, and three. We're going to do that all the way around. like that. And then you're going to go ahead and fill in these windows with, I'm using white uh, stained glass. I think that works well. Um, I think clear glass would work well. Or if you went for like, um, I don't know, like a, like kind of a tinted glass, just a little bit. 
but probably no colored glass would probably be the best. You might be able to use light blue with this yellow, but I'm just go with white. Okay, there we go, just like that. And then right here, we're gonna put in a couple of glass panes right here over the door. You could also make these solid glass blocks. I use panes over there. You kind of can't tell, but if this whole thing right here annoys you, uh, how there's a gap there, then go ahead and use solid blocks, okay? Then we're gonna go up one more block here with our white, and then across the front, we're gonna do yellow. And everywhere else, we're gonna do white. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the second story. So you're gonna put a white block here, and take that up, one, two, three, and one here, one, two, three. Oops, <laughs> sorry, one here, one, two, three, and then one here, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. You get the idea all the way around. Okay, and then all the way around from there, we're gonna put a ring of white concrete. So another ring of white concrete. Here we go. And while I'm doing this, another thing about Italianate style houses is they're almost always two or three stories tall. They're extremely rare to find one that is two stories tall. So if you're trying to build your own, definitely don't go with a two story tall or a one story tall um, house, right? If you're going to use some of these building techniques yet, try to build your own. Uh, don't, don't do it one story. They're always two story sometimes three, almost always. At least that's what the literature said. Okay, very cool. Next, we're gonna do our little porch. So what I used for the porch was some cobblestone. So I'm just gonna do some cobblestone here. If you wanna use uh, a wood color or something like that for the porch, that would, might make sense too. But I did cobblestone and I think it went out one, two, yeah, just two blocks, two blocks out for the porch. Like this, okay, very cool. And then right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a line of dark oak slabs all the way across like this. And then in front of that, you are going to put um, some quartz slabs. And I'm trying to get it so that it will go down right there, like that. Uh, I wish we could use white concrete slabs, but quartz is gonna work. And by the way, if you want all your whites to match, if you wanna put, your trim as the quartz as well. That would work nicely. Um, I didn't do that because, I don't know, I don't like the way that looks. Um, I don't like the quartz as much as the white concrete. You know how I feel about white concrete, right? But that's kind of what I, what I did. Okay, then next for kind of our staircase, I did a couple of stone brick stairs right here, like this. Right side up. And then I did for the columns, I did um, birch wood fence over there. Now, I suppose you could use white concrete for these columns, but you kind of run the risk of going with sort of a Greek revival style because the Italianate style has a little bit thinner um, supports for like a porch like that. Okay. So you don't want to go too thick. So I, I would use that. Um, I wish we had something like, you know, quartz uh, fence posts or something, but that's going to work like that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take out our um, quartz stair blocks, and we're going to put an upside down quartz stair on every other block. So one there, then one there, then one there, then one there, then one there, and we're going to do this all the stinking way around. Like that, like that, like that. Like that and that's going to give us our supports for our cornices and then when when you put a um the quartz slabs in between what it looks like is it looks like these things are sort of the supports and they're sticking out and people are like how'd you do that well it's just a stair upside down uh this also this little trick actually works really well on um japanese houses as well except you would go every single stair every single block would be a stair but this is one way to get the supports Okay, like that. And then, as I said, let's see. I don't like this look right here, so I'm going to do these the other way. So I'm going to go like this. Yep, 
there we go just so that on the front it has that look of there's a support there and a support there and they look even uh, like the one that I did here okay very good next you're going to fill each space in between with a quartz slab and then you're gonna go one more ring all the way around with quartz slabs then so space 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 corner space 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 ah don't do that space space and then all the way around with quartz slabs like this very good so you can really see that roof taking shape that large italianate style roof the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a ring of um dark oak slabs all the way around and we're going to do it too thick so it's going to be like this all the way around then you're going to do another ring exactly like that but one half slab up so basically like right there uh and then break that block and then another ring of two all the way around The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to make that little cupola. So you're going to put that a block there, uh, a block there, a block there, and a block there. And then you're going to take each one of these up one more, and then you'll put glass in between. This right here. That. And I suppose what we could have done is put, um, so I'm in the middle here now. I suppose what we could have done is put our slabs all the way around like this. Now, I believe if I have this correct, in an actual um, house, in an actual Italianate style house, there would be a way to get up into the cupola so that you have a view. But uh, this is Minecraft, so we have to make a little adjustment because just because the house is so small, um, we're probably not going to be able to get up in there. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing. Um, around the top, kind of as we did uh, in the other, um, like in this area. So we're going to go, I think I'm just going to make a ring around like this, all the way around. And if you make it two, like two rings wide, I think it's going to be too big. And then I think if you put the supports in, that would kind of make it look funny. So we have to kind of Minecraft it a little bit because... Right, like to put, ordinarily you'd have the same supports here on this roof as well. But if we did that, I think these supports would just look too big on this roof. So uh, we can't really do that. You could maybe experiment with that, but um, when I tried to do it, it didn't look right. Okay, then I'm going to do a, go ahead and do a ring of the dark oak slabs all the way around. Like that. And then I'll just put a little top like that on the top. Okay, so then the door goes in right here, and I like to place the door on the inside like that, and then you're done. Okay, uh, the rest of it, let's see, what did I do? I broke out this right here, and then I put a door there, and then I built a little porch in the back. Okay, so we can do that, and then the porch I did in the back was three, and then I put a little stair right there. And I think I'm going to do it just like this, okay? Then I'm going to come out um, with my... Oh, I'll, I think I'll do it this way. I didn't actually do it like this on the um, example over there, but I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to do a small porch in the back that looks exactly like the front. And then I'm going to fill in that side and that side. There we go. And then we'll do a little bit of the birch stairs. Or birch stairs. Stairs. <laughs> These are fences, man. These are fences, Hex. Hex is really good at saying things. Okay. Okay, so what I did is I took <laughs> um, a sign, and you saw me doing this at the beginning of the video, and I just put a sign over the top of each of these windows. So uh, let's start in the front. I'm just going to pop a sign at the top of each of these windows, and this is going to be like our molding. And if you really wanted to go crazy, you could maybe do, I don't know, um, like a dash, base, 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 dash, something like that. And then on the top one, like do some dashes. I don't know, just to kind of make it look like 
a molding or something? I don't know. <laughs> Didn't quite work out. Because a lot of the Italianate houses, again, they have like this curved molding, like an archway. And so, yeah, it's just really hard to do. So I was trying to create that, that look of the molding with these signs. So that's what that's about. Okay. Actually, that one's not going to be placed there. So uh, you're going to go ahead and do that to every single window. I'm going to stop there just because, well, we'll do the Coppola. Um, because we're going to do a little bit of the interior. I think we have some time. All right, the inside. Here we go. Okay, so on the inside, what I did is I took out my uh, birchwood planks. We're just going to go ahead and go around with these birchwood planks pretty much everywhere on the inside here. Okay, so then here what I did is I made a staircase. So I'm going to go ahead and build a staircase. Can we use quartz stairs for the staircase? No, we're not going to. We're going to use our birchwood stairs. Where are they? Birch stairs. There they are. Uh, we're going to place, place that sign. Okay. And what I did is I put a stair there and then one here. And then actually I filled this whole thing in first. That's probably going to be easier. And then... All right. So we're just going to fill it in with birch stairs like that. I think that's going to work. And then we're going to put some stairs there. And remember how I said the windows were kind of like... Uh, let's kind of see what happens. Right here, because I decided to put my stairs there, it just makes sense to fill in this wall, and I'll do it on the outside, <laughs> rather than having the window there. Because if you were actually had a nice Italianate house, it might look something like this, right? Where the front had all these windows, and then it's a nice idea to have all of them all the way around symmetrically. But in an actual house, that's probably unlikely. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Okay. And then right here, I'm going to fill that one in, and that one in, and that one, and that one, because we're going to build a kitchen here. And that sucks that I broke that, because now I have to go, I'm just going to fill it with cobblestone, okay? Pretend that that's real stone. <laughs> All right. And then what I did in the other one is I went here and I got some shulker boxes. I kind of like these white shulker boxes, or just any shulker box for some cupboards. And I put them in that configuration right there. Uh, the reason that configuration is because then I also have... One of these and one of these right here. So here's our sink. Here's our stove. And then I did, let's see, I think I have that. Say, nope, I don't. Okay. Um, I need some brick wood. Let's see. Some bricks. There we go. Come on, bricks. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I didn't set up like my menus like I usually do. Okay, and I'm going to put some bricks right there. And then what? What else did I do? Oh yeah, over here I broke out this one. Oops. <laughs> broke out those two. Replaced that. And then I did some um, some more shulker boxes. How did those get out of my inventory? Tell you what. Inventories. Man, crazy. Okay. I did two, three. Like that. And then I did like that. Just to kind of create like a, another little counter. This is a very, very, very small house, by the way. So... Just to let you know. Okay, right here I put in a fireplace. So this is how I did it. I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. So I broke out that window, filled it back in, and then I'm going to do this like that. And then right like this. And then inside of there, I'm playing it safe with the fire. <laughs> if you have fire spreads on, you might want to test this because I do not know if lighting this magma block will cause you problems. But there's our fireplace. <laughs> okay. And just like that. Okay. And then in this area in the kitchen, what I decided to do is I went with our um, quartz pillars like that. And maybe a better idea even would be to do some glazed. Let's see if there's a glazed terracotta block that was kind of Italian looking. Maybe the this right here, the white glazed terracotta. Let's see. Yeah, this this could be fun. You could do this. I guess. If you could figure out how to get the flower to go the right direction. Er, there we go. There? No. That way. No. That way. <laughs> that way. Okay. So it's always going to be in the upper left-hand corner. Okay, upper left-hand corner. Like that. Okay. 
blast. And upper left hand corner, so that way. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you could do that. That kind of looks Italianish. Upper left hand corner. And then this would would be that way. Yeah, like that. Okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, there's our little kitchen. And then you could do a couch. I think I did a white little couch in here. Uh, where's our white quartz? There we go. Okay, cool. And then I did kind of a little white couch. Now, see, windows, they attach to the stair like that, so that doesn't make me too happy. Maybe just kind of this sort of thing? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever you want to do in here. Whatever you want to do. I'm just showing you a few things that I did. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and do our... Um, just a little bit of this. And on mine, I went like that. Uh, you could go all the way across, but of course, then it attaches to the window, so that makes the front look a little funny. So I kind of just did that to sort of say like, oh, maybe they just kind of have that metal-y screen thing kind of part way over. Whatever. Okay, so that is our first floor, essentially. Uh, I think one other thing that I did is I put some iron blocks over here to simulate a counter. And then I put a pot right there and a little picture. But you can do that. So that's kind of our counter. And then here's our our little galley-style kitchen, kind of. A little open kitchen, I guess. Um, yeah, whatever. Okay, then the roof. Okay, the roof. The ceiling. Let's go with... Um, some birch wood planks for the ceiling. And we're just going to fill it in with birch wood planks. Like this. And then I think right there I can put it. Yep. Okay. And then just fill in all this with birch wood planks. Do, 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 do. So sometimes I really like designing like smaller spaces. Like that. Okay. So here's our downstairs. And then maybe... Maybe we have that derpy, silly, little, or you know what we, you could do? You could do this. Well, let's, let's do this. Watch this. This is going to be fun. Okay, where's our stinking end rods? There they are. Okay, so we're going to put an end rod there, there, and there over the counter. Or maybe just one there and one there. Or maybe it looks better there. And here, kind of some of those hanging lights, or maybe all four. Yeah, that's kind of cool, over a little counter. So we've got some nice lighting in here. Very cool. All right, that's good. And then, like I said, I did um, a pot with a plant. Plant, 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 plant. And I think that these alliums look very Italian. They're probably not, but I think they look it, so... I'm putting one. That. Very nice. That's very good. Okay. And then we're going to go with some painting. Like that. There we go. I am most happy. Okay. Cool. Upstairs. Let's take a look at upstairs. Let's fill in this block first. Let's take a look at upstairs. So what I did upstairs is I took out my white concrete and I built some walls. I think white concrete make, makes nice walls. So I put some walls here and I just extended this all the way up as far as I could. That. Like that. And then I did um, like a little doorway right here. And then right here, I did a little doorway for the bathroom. And then there's our bathroom. And I think for the bathroom, I'm going to break all that out. And then we're going to fill that back in with our yellow concrete. There it is. Okay. Like that. There we go. Okay. And then we're just going to fill all this in like that. Do you? Do, do, do. Actually, you could like leave this open right here. No, oh no, you can't do that. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be able to do this little trick, but can't do it. Okay, very cool. And then right here, I think I blocked this whole wall off, like this. 
And then that's where my bed went. So then let's get out of bed. Bed, 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 bed. I went with the pink bed. I think that's going to look terrible here. Let's go with the light blue bed. And light blue bed. And then I did, you know, your standard, um, your standard little end tables. Whatever you want to do for like an end table. I don't know. Let's do uh, some chiseled quartz. <laughs> what the heck? Fancy little end table on both sides. And I did like a plant and a picture over there. And then over here, I just left it blank. And then in here, um, I did a little a sink and then a toilet. Kind of running out of time for, um, yeah, a sink, a toilet. And then I put in, <laughs> I keep getting rid of my shulker boxes. I'm not very good with managing my inventory, as you can tell. That, and then I put like a painting there. And then, yeah. One other thing that you can do that I think kind of looks cool is you can take out some decoration blocks and you can put in a white banner or if you have another banner that's like a little bit better than a regular white banner and then you put them in front of the windows it looks like curtains like that and then on the italianate houses like they kind of have like this sort of low curtain like that and then they have like another second curtain on the top kind of strange but that's what they do so then if you do that all the way around here um kind of helps to make it look a little bit better on the outside and then we'll do that on the top here like this and whoops and then we need a couple of doors and then I'm gonna call this thing done so a door there and a door here for the bathroom let's put it there just to give the bathroom a little bit more space yeah okay very cool all right that completes this build so really quickly, I'm just going to show you the grounds that I did. Uh, the grounds are pretty simple. Um, so I, ha I put like a little cobblestone and gravel pathway. And then I just did a path all the way around. Some cobblestone here. Got a draw, um, uh, hopper right there with a couple leaves on it. Leaves all the way around. Oh, I did forget one thing. And then the path. And then this little kind of gazebo where it's uh, just a little chair. And then some fence posts. And then a little roof on it. Okay. Uh, let's do one little thing right here that I forgot to do. So on the outside of this, so right here, if we break this block, that's our fireplace. So what we're going to do is on the outside of that, we're going to go ahead and take bricks. There's our bricks. There they are. And we're just going to go straight up. I'm going to break that and go right through the roof. We're going to go up two like that. And then we're going to place on top of that a iron trap door. Boop. And there's our little fireplace that you saw that in the example. Okay. Very cool. Well, I hope you really like this little Italianate house. I will be building a couple more very soon. So I'll show you how to do those. I might do them as a let's build. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So anyways... Um, this has been Hex, and I hope that you have a great day. If you like this build, don't forget to leave a like. And as always, I hope you're having a great day, and God bless.